Que bola, guys, which means hello to a friend in, uh, in Cuban and Spanish. So, interesting little conundrum today. Woke up, didn't bring my cutter because I couldn't put it in uh, the luggage and I thought it was going to get jacked. I thought I'd pick up one from here, but I haven't found one yet. So, I'm going to attempt to use a very uh, traditional way to peel the cigar or to prepare it to cut it. Now, Cuban cigars, if you have a look, they have this Epicure Especial. They have a cap right here on the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and peel that cap off and prepare the cigar. See, there's a seam for the cap. Well, there you go, guys. I don't know if this works on other cigars. Cuban cigars have a, a cap system where they there's a triple cap on it. And they kind of put it on and wrap the tobacco uh, wrapper around it. So that gives it the ability to do this. You know, sometimes you've seen in the movies that guys just used to like Arnold Schwarzenegger and those other guys just bite the cigar, rip it and spit out the rest and keep going. <laughs> I think that's just kind of fictitious for movies. If you have super sharp teeth and maybe it worked, like, you know, little rat teeth on the front. Then <laughs> <laughs> cut something perfectly <laughs> but other than that here's this uh, nice wrapper tobacco that I took off the end I'm gonna check the draw and see how that goes perfect draw even better than when I cut it with the cutter <laughs> so as long as you don't have a dude who's gonna like slobber his hell over all this kind of stuff then you know you're all right but otherwise I might plug it up and make it really messy looking like like some big old dog shit chewing on it <laughs> So that's that guys, I'm gonna light it soon. I'm gonna come back to you guys a little later and let you know what's going on. But we just got some coffee here, check it out. Thank you. If I sip this, will it turn to champagne? Uh. Like, like Jesus turned it to wine, right? So you never know. <laughs> that's it. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna taste this coffee, let you guys know how it is. Cuban coffee is really awesome by the way. You don't really need anything in it, just some sugar and uh, and coffee. You don't need cream or anything, it tastes so good. Pretty damn good. Cheers guys, peace. So this is a cigar that earlier I went and uh, showed you guys how to cut it like a master. Where I pretty much just pulled off the cap. I thought, I've done this review before, but this is from a totally different box. Uh, age about 2018, middle of the year. It's an Epicure Special by Hoyle de Monterey. Very nice wrapper. Very nice size of cigar, I like these. Uh, it takes a long time to get to the bitterness at the end, so you get a lot more smoking pleasure. It's about five and a half -ish inches, slightly longer than that, about 52 ring gauge. Very, very nice cigar, as I've said before. Uh, this one, actually has a lot of spiciness in it. The minute you light it up, you notice there's some spiciness there that you feel on the tip of the tongue. Nutmeg, cinnamon, other kind of tropical spices. Uh, nice cocoa in there. Smoke output for this one, surprisingly, is very good. This cigar is notorious for being very tightly packed and so the draw is usually quite tight. This one might have been because I, you know, uh, I cut it like a maestro. It has a very open draw. 
So if you guys are smoking Epicurus fish house out there, you might want to use the cigar prince technique <laughs> for cutting the cigar where you just rip off the, the cap on the end with your fingernail. Check out the draw on this, guys. Nice white plumes of smoke. Very luxurious draw compared to most of these that I've tried. It has that Hoya de Monterey quality in there that's got that slight creaminess, but this one for sure a lot less than the rest of the Epicure, no, Epicure line. Not as creamy as Epicure number two, a little bit more spicy. Uh, a little the color of the wrapper is pretty dark, and that's why I chose this one compared to the, most of the ones that I've tried. And so you're getting a flavor that's a little bit more intense. I like that. I like cigars that have a little bit more flavor, especially in Cubans. Um, halfway through. This is the kind of cigar I think you need to have maybe after a nice meal or something. Pair nicely with any kind of drink that's mellow. It's already got some very strong flavors in there, so something mellow would probably help bring out that flavor. Just coffee and some water on the side was perfect for this. Every time I had the coffee and I had this, these two flavors mingled very nicely. Add the water, cleanse the palate a little bit, and you get some more flavors of what the cigar has. Very nice roasted tobacco, some pepper, some spices. Uh, cream not there that much, but it's just there in a hint, some cocoa. Beautiful cigar. I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more, guys. I'm gonna come back and let you know if I get any transitions. But so far, from the beginning of the cigar to now, that's pretty much the flavors I've gotten. There's a little bit more sweetness at the beginning, and now it's tended to get a lot less sweet, but still very, very enjoyable cigar. Um, pretty, pretty surprised, pretty impressed. Nice way to start off uh, the morning. The weather here has been not beach weather because of the wind. There's a lot of wind and it's quite, quite overcast, but we're hoping that by afternoon it's going to get really nice and sunny and the clouds. The weather patterns here change very quickly because of where it's located, like right in the Caribbean. So we're hoping to go for a swim. Uh, if, if we do, if we manage doing that, I'm going to put it on a video for you guys. You guys can check out the beautiful beach here, very different from Veradero. The sand is a lot finer. The ocean has a totally different quality. The, the, the water seems a little clearer and stuff. Very nice. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. You guys have a great day. Cheers guys. Peace.